Hi, my name's Kirby Allison, and here at The Hangar Project, we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to renovate a pair of Allen Edmonds Fifth Avenue uh, cap toe shoes. This is in their dark brown. Uh, these are the shoes of a friend of mine, and as you can see, they're in pretty terrible condition. I mean, this is a pair of shoes that probably has never touched polish uh, since my friend originally purchased them. As you can see, they're scuffing all over the shoe, some pretty deep scuffs in the back. Uh, and then also you can see there's pretty severe discoloration of the edge and heel. I'm gonna show you how you can completely renew a pair of shoes, uh, even in as bad as condition of this using the Saphir Medal Dior shoe polish. So just to give you a brief overview of the steps I'm gonna go over. Now first, I'm just gonna do a really gentle kind of quick cleaning with the Saphir Reno Mat. Now the purpose here is to pull off any type of dirt or polish uh, that's on top of this leather. Uh, since it's been such a long time since these shoes have probably received any attention, I'm gonna use something a little bit stronger than a Saphir leather soap. But if you had a Saphir leather soap, that would work perfectly also. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to condition and recolor these shoes using the Saphir uh, Pomodier Cream Polish. Now I have both the dark brown and a Havana brown here, and we're gonna test and see which is a better match for these shoes. Then I'm gonna use the Saphir Pac Deluxe Wax Polish to just elevate the shine and provide a little bit of additional water protection for these shoes. And then finally, I'm gonna finish with a little bit of the Feebling's Edge Dressing. Uh, this is in their brown. I'm actually gonna use uh, that to help really kind of penetrate and recolor the edges since it is so discolored. Uh, and then I might actually use a little bit of the brown uh, cream shoe polish uh, on the edges also to kind of elevate that shine. And then finally, you can see these Allen Edmonds have the original Allen Edmonds shoelaces. Uh, so I'm gonna replace these shoelaces with a pair uh, of our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade 100% cotton shoelaces. Since we're gonna replace these shoelaces anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take this as an opportunity to completely remove the shoelaces. Now on a normal shoe shine, just like a, a daily or weekly kind of shoe shine, I don't remove the shoelaces from my shoes because it's a lot of work uh, for not much benefit. Uh, and secondly, uh, you know, removing your shoelaces does put uh, additional or unnecessary wear uh, on the eyelets of the shoe. Uh, and those are very difficult to replace if uh, they become damaged. So I prefer to minimize the amount of uh, times I've removed shoelaces. Okay, so I've removed the shoelaces from these shoes. I'm gonna start on the right shoe. I've got a little bit of the Saphir Reno Mat. Uh, I have shaken that. The purpose of using the Saphir Reno Mat uh, is really, uh, in this case, uh, just a gentle clean to make sure that I'm pulling any of the shoe polish off of this. I'm not gonna go super strong because I really don't know how these shoes have been treated and this is probably the first time Saphir Medal Dior has been used on these shoes. It's nice to start with the Saphir Reno Mat just to pull any type of polish that may be sitting on top of this leather that contains silicones off uh, so that the Saphir Medal Dior can really penetrate deep into the leather. Using medium to firm pressure. Okay, so you can see a little bit of polish has come off I'm gonna set the right shoe aside. Uh, I'm gonna switch to a clean area of my chamois, and I'm going to repeat the process for the left shoe. Okay, so I've used the Saphir Reno Mat to pull uh, any of the superficial polish off of this leather. Uh, it's opened it up a little bit, uh, and so now uh, the leather has been prepared to take the Saphir uh, Pomodier Cream Polish. So I've got the Saphir Pomodier Cream Polish Medal Dior here, and I've got two colors. Uh, the first color is the Havana or the Tobacco Brown, uh, and the second color is the Dark Brown. I'm not certain which uh, color polish is really gonna be right for these shoes. So I'm just gonna take a little sample on my finger and then just test it on the leather. So again, it's important to remember that the pigment always goes on transparent. So although whenever you look at this right next to the leather, it looks much darker, as soon as you uh, spread that out, uh, it thins out and becomes more transparent. Now you can see the dark brown 
is really significantly darker. So you could use the dark brown if you were looking to antique, uh, but I think in this case, I'm going to prefer to go with the Havana brown. It's slightly lighter than the dark brown, and I think it's gonna produce a better result for us. So I'm gonna start with the right shoe again. I've got my Hanger Project cotton chamois here. I'm gonna apply some of this onto my cotton chamois. I like to kind of dab it around first and then begin to work this into the leather. Now I'm not using any Saphir Renovateur. Uh, you know, there's really uh, no reason for that. This shoe would actually really benefit uh, from the Saphir Renovateur because again, uh, you can tell that this uh, leather has been uh, really neglected. Uh, but in the essence of time, uh, we're just going to use the Saphir Pomodier Cream Polish. The Saphir Pomodier Cream Polish is incredibly high quality, uh, you know, as all the Medal Dior products are. So you do get a good uh, deal of nourishment uh, from the Pomodier Cream Polish. I mean, that is one of the primary benefits of a cream polish over a wax polish, is that it's going to nourish the leather. Uh, in addition to recoloring the leather, you have a significant higher concentration of pigments in a cream polish than you'll ever get from a wax polish. So a shoe like this, you know, that is quite heavily scuffed, uh, is going to benefit from those pigments to help recolor the leather. Really working this into the leather again, I wanna feed it and I want to recolor any of the scuffing. Okay, so I'm gonna set this right shoe aside and then work on the left. Okay, so I'm gonna set that left shoe aside. And then I'm gonna buff the polish off of the right shoe. I'm using uh, one of our Hanger Project uh, shoe shine brushes. I've got a pig bristle brush here, which has slightly stiffer bristles. see with just one coat of uh, Saphir Pomodier Cream Polish, we've actually done a really good job evening out the finish. That's those pigments working. Uh, and you can see a light shine beginning to develop. Again, those are the soft waxes uh, in the Pomodier Cream Polish. I'm gonna do one additional quick application um, to really make sure that I get these shoes uh, recolored and nourished. Now I always like to put a little bit of additional attention right here across the vamp. Again, this is the area that if you don't properly hydrate the leather is most prone to cracking. So I always like to make sure that I've got additional polish uh, or conditioner right there in the vamp to ensure that we don't have any cracking because of dried leather. Okay. I'm gonna set that shoe aside and then buff off the polish to the left shoe. So buffing off the uh, cream polish, second application. Again, you wanna use really fast, brisk motions. That's what's going to really remove that shoe polish and begin to uh, glissage those soft waxes. Okay, so there we go, look at that. I mean, all of those scuffings, uh, at least the superficial ones, for the most part have been completely removed and you know therein lies the magic of such a high quality shoe polish like the Saphir Pomodier Cream Polish Medal Dior. It has such a high quality pigment in it uh, that it is very effective at removing what even looks like to be uh, egregious uh, scuffs and scratches on leather. So there we go, this is just after two applications of a cream polish, these shoes look a million times better. Uh, after we apply the wax, do the edges, and replace the laces, they're really gonna look as good as new. Okay, so I have some dark brown wax polish. This is going to provide a little bit of an antiquing effect. Because the pigment in a wax polish is significantly more transparent than a cream, I don't have to worry too much about it darkening the leather. Now, darkening this leather wouldn't be such a bad thing. I mean, it would help 
kind of provide a little bit more character through just the antiquing uh, process or effect, if you will. Now the Saphir Pat Deluxe wax polish uh, is widely considered by shoe aficionados to be some of the best wax polish out there. Uh, it uses an all-natural pine-based turpentine. It's really gonna penetrate this leather. It has a, uh, over seven different kinds of hard waxes in the formulation, beeswax, carnauba, montan wax. I mean, uh, it really produces, you know, not just a brilliant shine, uh, but also, and just as importantly, a long-lasting shine. So it does a great job producing a beautiful kind of brilliant shine, uh, but one that you can rest assured can be easily uh, renewed with just a quick buffing of a horsehair brush. So I'm gonna set the right shoe aside, let it dry. Uh, here I'm just gonna buff with a horsehair brush. I'm not looking to develop a really high shine. If I was, I could use some water and our high shine chamois, but you know, this is just a general shoe shine. So the hard waxes from the wax polish, again, are gonna help provide additional protection to the leather, additional waterproofing, and will elevate the shine. Shoes looking absolutely fantastic. So again, we've got two coats of the Saphir Pomadier Cream Polish, one coat of the Saphir Pat Deluxe. It wouldn't hurt to do a second uh, if you wanted. So for the edge, I'm gonna use a little bit of a dark brown polish uh, and I'm gonna use the liquid edge dressing. The idea with first using the liquid edge dressing is just that it's gonna help further penetrate that edge since it is so discolored. And then I'm gonna come back on top of it with the wax to give it a little bit of a higher shine. One of the other things that you can do, uh, again, if you have edges that are really in bad condition, is you can actually take some sandpaper to them to help smooth them. It's another trick. Okay, so we've got that on. And then next what I'm gonna do is apply a little bit of dark brown polish on top of that to help seal the edge. Again, polish is a great edge dressing, but you have to remember to buff it after you're done. Really good on the heels. Okay, we're gonna let that sit in. I'm gonna do the same to the left shoe. Gonna be quite generous to the front. One of my pet peeves is whenever the toe of the shoe or the, uh, the, uh, the front of the edge or the, becomes discolored. Okay, so I've applied the dark brown cream polish to the edge. I'm gonna take a small little welt brush and just buff that to a shine. You wanna make sure you res remove any excess cream polish, especially from the edges and heels. Uh, you can also apply a wax polish on top of the cream to further elevate the shine, which always looks smart. Uh, last but certainly not least, our new Sovereign Grade shoelaces. Now shoelaces are incredibly important uh, to the overall look of a shoe. Uh, often underappreciated, a uh, pair of old and worn shoelaces disproportionately affects the look of a shoe. You can have a beautifully polished pair of shoes, uh, but with old worn out laces, it still just doesn't look good. So uh, going the extra mile, replacing the laces on a pair of shoes really makes all the difference. Here I'm gonna be using our Sovereign Grade uh, shoelaces that we have made uh, out of 100% cotton out of Northampton. Uh, these are our round laces, which will look really nice uh, on these brown shoes. And I'm using our 80 centimeter length, uh, which is perfect for the six eyelids of Allen Edmonds. So there you go, new shoelaces, as you can see, looks uh, as good as new. I've got our Parisian knot here, really smart, double knot. Uh, and these Allen Edmonds uh, have been totally restored, renovated, renewed, uh, and they look great and are ready for a night out in the town. So just a few simple products here using the Saphir Renovator and these Allen Edmonds Fifth Avenues look brand new. So really simple, took about uh, 25, 30 minutes, uh, and they look great. So.
In today's video, I'm wearing one of my bespoke Chris Despis suits. This is a, a, a navy or a blue a fresco suit with patch pockets. I'm wearing a bespoke Charvet shirt, of course, in my trademark white, along with one of our sovereign grade uh, regimental uh, rep ties. Of course, like all my suits, these have tab trousers, uh, which I really enjoy for just the simplicity and, and the elegance. The trousers are uncuffed, and I have a pair of our small dot Palatino socks that beautifully match uh, this suit. Uh, and then today I'm wearing a pair of my St. Crispin's uh, Capto Oxfords uh, that are dark brown. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangarproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining me.